from stethoscopes to ultrasound, from listening to diagnosis. The Sony Bosch P3 can play many vital roles at the medical point of care. Keep the Sony Maj P3 in your pocket to use anytime, anywhere. Sony Maj P3, personal, portable, point of care. This video explains the basic features and operations of the Sony Maj P3. In the Sony Maj P3 pack, you will find a display unit, a transducer, a probe unit, a stylus pen, a mains charger, a micro SD card, a USB connection cable, ultrasound transmission gel, and the user manual DVD, this DVD. The Sony Maj P3 consists of a display unit, a probe unit, and a transducer unit. Three modes are available, B mode, M mode, and pulse Doppler mode. Note that absolute flow speed cannot be measured in PW Doppler mode. The transducer is attached to the probe by pushing it in. To release the transducer, pull it out like this. To assemble, insert the transducer so that the two silver dots appear on the same side. This silver dot appears on the screen to indicate the orientation of the probe. To turn the power of the display unit on and off, press and hold the power button. To put the Sony Maj P3 into standby mode, with the power on, press the power button once. When the Sony Maj P3 is in standby mode, the power button blinks. To use the Sony Maj P3, press the power button again. The device can now be used. The ultrasound image, menu icons, the patient name and the orientation of the probe appear in the display. A scan button, scroll wheel and back button are mounted on the side of the display unit. The scan button incorporates a freeze feature that starts and stops the image scan. The probe unit is also equipped with a scan button. The scroll wheel can be scrolled or clicked to adjust the user interface operations and adjust the screen in each mode. The back button is used to go back to the previous screen and to switch modes. The stylus pen can be used to operate the screen. Before using the Sony Maj P3, perform device setup. To start the Sony Maj P3, press the power button. This is the device setup procedure. Use the stylus pen to enter the information. When you have finished, select OK. This completes the device setup. Next, format the micro SD card. Open the lid on the top of the display unit and insert the micro SD card. When the screen appears, select Yes. The format card screen appears. Be sure to enter the user name. If you make a mistake while entering, use backspace to delete, then enter the information again. Enter your desired password and card name. If you do not wish to enter a password, select No Password, then select OK. This completes the formatting of the micro SD card. To use a password, select Password Protected and enter a password.
Now let's turn the power on. If a password has been set, the login screen appears. Enter the password and select OK. The exam screen appears and the device is now ready to use. To use the device immediately in an emergency, to use it without inserting a micro SD card, or to use it when you don't know the password, select Urgent Mode, Password Entry is bypassed, and the imaging screen appears. When you turn the power off, you will be asked whether to discard or save the data. If you select Discard, the screen switches off. To save the screen, insert a micro SD card and select Save. First, enter the patient's name. On the toolbar, select the exam management icon, the second from the left. Select New Exam. The patient search screen appears. Select New at the lower right. The patient data entry screen appears. Enter the patient's name. Next, enter the ID in the EMR identifier column and select Enter to confirm. The name you entered is displayed here. Next, we explain how to select a preset. Click the preset name displayed at the upper right on the screen. A list of presets appears. Select the preset you wish to use. To change the scan mode, with the image frozen, press and hold the scan button. The mode change screen is displayed. Use the scroll wheel to select the desired mode, then click the scroll wheel to select. Press the scan button again to start scanning. Confirm the position of the M mode line. Use the back button to display the M mode waveform. Next, switch to PW Doppler mode. Perform the operation just described to change modes. Select PW Doppler mode. Press the scan button and align with the position of the line. Press the back button to display as a waveform. To adjust the gain while scanning, scroll the scroll wheel up and down. When you do this, an adjustment bar appears on the screen. This bar displays the gain. When you scroll the scroll wheel up and down, the bar moves, changing the gain value. If you click the scroll wheel once more during scanning, the display changes to depth. A bar for adjusting depth and the depth value are displayed. The display switches between gain and depth adjustment each time you click the scroll wheel. These can be adjusted in the same way as in M mode and PW Doppler mode. PW Doppler mode enables adjustment of the position and width of the sample point. When the PW Doppler waveform is displayed, the Doppler gain, baseline, and PRF can be adjusted. When an image is frozen, the view can be magnified, reduced, and moved. Move the stylus pen in the clockwise direction to magnify the image. To move the view, Drag the view by moving the stylus pen. 
To reduce the image, move the stylus pen counterclockwise. We will now explain how to perform measurements using calipers, bladder volume, and beats per minute. Calipers. From the toolbar, select the measurement icon. The measurement pop-up menu appears. Select calipers. When you drag the calipers using the stylus pen, the distance between the two points is displayed at the bottom left of the screen. To measure a second distance, select calipers again and drag the second set of calipers. Bladder volume. From the measurement pop-up menu, select bladder volume. Touch the center of the bladder with a stylus pen. An outline of the bladder is traced automatically. To adjust the trace line, drag it with a stylus pen. Beats per minute measures heartbeats per minute. This measurement can be performed in M mode or in PW Doppler mode. From the measurement pop-up menu, select the number of beats per minute cycles. In this example, two cycles are measured. Align the calipers with the cycles. The measurement value is displayed at the bottom left of the screen. We will now explain the annotation feature. Use this feature to add text and voice messages to still images. First, from the toolbar, select the annotation icon. A pop-up menu appears. If you wish to enter any of the comments that appear in the list, you can select it. To enter a comment manually, select text annotation. Enter the desired text in the text input screen. When text input is complete, select OK to return to the exam screen. The text you entered is displayed. To save a scanned image or movie, press the scan button. From the toolbar, select the movie clip icon. A pop-up menu appears. If you select Save as Movie Clip, the movie from before the image was frozen is saved. The movie is played back immediately. To review the movie, select Enter Scan Review. To save the movie, select the Save Movie icon. To save a still image from the movie, stop the movie at the desired frame and select the Save Single Frame icon. We will now explain how to open an exam screen. From the toolbar, select the Exam Management icon. Select Review Exam. From the List screen, select the exam you wish to open and click Open. To view the exam from the toolbar, select the Image Exam Scroller icon. You can now view the saved image. To confirm battery status, click the battery icon. Both the display unit and the probe unit contain a battery. 
If the battery is not sufficiently charged, the battery icon appears red. Be sure to charge the device using the included USB connection cable and mains charger unit. A full charge normally takes about three hours. Click here to confirm the capacity of the micro SD card. Click here to adjust the volume. Check mute to mute the sound. Image data saved on the Sony Maj P3 can be transferred to a PC installed with Sony Maj View. First, connect the mini USB terminal on the top of the Sony Maj P3 to a PC using the included USB connection cable. On the PC, double-click the Sony Maj View desktop icon. On the screen of the Sony Maj P3, click File Transfer. You will be asked whether you wish to transfer the file. Click Yes to start the file transfer. When you click this patient icon, the image data from the Sony Maj P3 can be viewed on the PC. Easy to use and with a wide range of applications, the Sony Maj P3 is creating a new future in ultrasound diagnosis.